Ash on single window near me. Today we're going to help you improve on Rainbow Six Siege by taking a look at the camera locations on the skyscraper map. So we'll cover where they are both internally and externally and we'll also have a look on defence and see what the range of view is and how that can be best used to assist your team. All this coming right up. Welcome back to Enough is Enough, Ace of Pirate with you again and today we're taking a look at the cameras on the skyscraper map. So first up we'll run over the externals, the first one that we find there is in the east garden area, sort of in the uh, northeast corner of the map and then if we follow the building along we're heading back to the ventilation unit area and that's the second external camera. So overall there's three external cameras on this map and four internal cameras so you're looking for seven in total and what we're doing is just coming back around around the house heading to the northwest corner this time where we will find the third of the external cameras there now we will move back inside so we're going to go in through the main entrance uh, if you've watched the layout video you'll know what I'm talking about I'll still give the call outs but worth a watch I'll put a link up if not so we're heading through main entrance and we are going to head left towards the house area so through house entrance and then we find the first of four internal cameras in house lobby and we will head through delivery room through that central area of the map into the right hand side of the downstairs into pantry and then through to restaurant for the second internal camera and then there's two more internal cameras that are both located upstairs so if we head up back stairs we're going to hallway near tea room past karaoke and geisha and we'll find it there overlooking main stairs and then we will head down through taiko but usually known as drum terrace lounge until we get to vip clearance and find the fourth internal camera at the top of house stairs so now we'll flip onto the defence, no messing about, and we'll have a look at the range of view. So the first camera on the list is second floor hallway, and what you're looking at there is main stairs. You've got the, on the right hand side the door to Geisha, and on the left hand side is the door to Drum. Personally, I'd say probably the most useful camera on this map. It's a heavy footfall area, and if you're defending tea room, it's going to be really helpful. Second camera on the list is the restaurant camera. So you've got a view there into toilet, you've got a view towards main staircase, and off on the right hand side... Um, is, is barbecue and then the third camera on the list is the house lobby camera well it's actually sort of the one mounted above house stairs but it's labeled house lobby and you've got vip clearance there and you've got exhibition in front of you and then house lobby is the lower level and then the actual house lobby camera the first floor house lobby camera so you're looking there towards bedroom you've got bathroom on the right hand side you've got behind that plant you've got the single doorway that leads through into the sort of rear elevator area and then we move on to the external cameras so we've got the first camera in west garden these are largely just good for overwatching the balconies um, you've got windows there to areas like kitchen and things like that and then you've got the east garden camera which is overlooking the sort of work office area up above house and you've got uh, house bedroom and house entrance and things like that lower down there and then my personal vote for the worst and most useless camera on this entire game is the ventilation units camera um, you can see practically nothing except out towards geisha a little bit there but very very useless so um, that just brings us to the end of the defensive cameras now that's everything for the skyscraper cameras. Just have a look through that a couple of times. Learn them. Get used to taking them out. It's really going to help your teammates. If you haven't already, please hit like. Please hit subscribe. We've got loads more content coming that is going to help you. Stop being the easy kill and say enough is enough. Hopefully you've seen something you've enjoyed. And we'll see you next time.